What's up guys? How is it going? Uh, figureheads, let's unite and review another toy for today. Now, you might know I've been going lately on a binge for X-Men figures. Uh, I've got the Professor X uh, in my last video. I've got uh, the, um, uh, uh, what do you call the, um, Juggernaut and versus Colossus 2-pack lined up uh, in the coming weeks as a review. But before that, let's go for the, perhaps, shall we say the second in command or third in command for under, after Professor X, which uh, these three bunch here, Cyclops, Jean Grey and Wolverine, uh, affectionately known, or at least this, this packaging, affectionately known as the Love Triangle 3 pack. Um, and uh, what a pack this is because it has all the heavy hitters over the X-Men now this is the kind of uh, thing that I like because I don't have to individually hunt all these guys because let's face it these are pivoted characters to add up to your X-Men collection and you don't really want to be hunting them down because knowing full well there are enough um, shall we say uh, fans out there, they will uh, just um, make it impossible for you to find this individually. So to have them collectively is a fantastic idea. That being said, this thing doesn't come cheap. Now as a price reference, uh, from Big Bad Toy Store, I see this goes for $69.99, so roughly around the $70 mark. Now you know as well as I do, if you are watching this outside of the US, by the time you add shipping and whatnot, this is going to cost a bomb. Uh, I did buy it this, however, from a local uh, Toys R Us. Um, and needless to say, I think Toys R Us prices are um, also on the pricier side. But it is what it is. I needed to have this. So on some occasions, I don't mind. I close an eye uh, to the price and just get them because instead of me going after this individually, driving around, looking for it, if it comes in a collective pack like this, I am well and truly a happy boy. Well, in terms of the packaging, in terms of the box, you get these three uh, displayed right out of the window display. You have the usual side work. Now, of course, because it comes with three characters, you're going to have artwork uh, pertaining to all three of them in their appearance uh, uh, in the X-Men um, comic series. You have a bio of all three of them. Uh, not uh, with the uh, images uh, that is um, what you find in the sides of the pack uh, and funnily enough this is uh, pictures um, that are from the comic not specifically for the figures so I'll take that some bios of uh, who's Jean Grey, Wolverine and Marvel Cyclops and whatnot you can read it by yourselves because it spares me the uh, effort in uh, reading all this out to you but i think by now i think pretty much most of you guys will know these figures anyway so fantastic packaging let's take it all out see what we have whether it's worth the what is that 69.99 that uh, big bag toy store is asking for or anyone for that matter and yeah. shall do a full review on these Alrighty then, let's do the unboxing. I've taken the Mr. Knifey there and uh, taken out all the tapes that is necessary uh, to take out the figures. I don't really necessarily destroy the boxes simply because, I don't know, I do like these boxes. So, so I'll tend to keep it. Um, don't really have any plans to resell them, but if I do, I'm sure the new owner would like the box, so I tend to keep it. Now the artwork for this, generally you get an artwork like a backdrop for this um, kind of figures. And that's pretty cool as well, that's something that you can use with your shelves. Now if you watch my, um, what do you call, uh, Professor X review, you know he also comes with this kind of uh, artwork in the background, so that I actually use that to uh, form like the um, the background to the, the shelves in which I put all these figures. So that's, that, that pretty works. All you have to do is cut this out, stick it in, and it works like a fantastic, uh, fantastic piece um, uh, at the back. Uh, then you can put the figures uh, in front. So just a suggestion. You might use it, you might not. Up to you, to each his own, as I said. So let me put all this aside. We look at the packaging and what comes for the figure itself. Of course, you have the three main uh, characters. We have uh, Wolverine himself, Jean Grey, Jean Grey and um, Cyclops. Now, 
it appears uh, Wolverine comes with this uh, sort of battle damage um, head so you can see just about the sort of a tattered um, uh, mask where that uh, and his, supposedly his hair pops out um, okay or at least that's the effect they were going for he comes with the bone claws he comes with interchangeable hands the alternative hands being the the actual adamantium claws uh, that you could change with these bone claws which probably uh, what's what I do you have a perfect um, uh, masked head that is more reminiscent of him uh, in his normal um, shall we say look and then you have one that is kind of a head skull when he has taken out of the mask and it comes with a sort of an unmasked cowl that uh, you can pop uh, around his neck you know so if he ever he takes out his mask and, and does something and whatnot Jean Grey on the other hand comes with two lovely um, head scarf but that's about it she doesn't come with any effect so that's kind of um, kind of a bummer I suppose because she's known for her sort of psychic ability and whatnot um, uh, similar to Professor X, uh, so you would pr you would think that they would include something like a you know like a swirly whirly twirly ooh, that kind of stuff, but nope. Uh, all you get is this two heads cup, which isn't so bad, but I don't know whether it truly captures Jean Grey in terms of her uh, looks. Um, so one is sort of a let loose hair that goes quite a long way back uh, uh, to her rear end, and then you have one that's kind of like a, a ponytail look which is the kind of face that uh, or hairstyle she donned uh, in the animated series um, of course that's one of the reasons why I buy this figure's anime the fact that it reminds me of the, how they looked in the animated series um, or as they call as the Jim Lee version and then you have Cyclops here which again is I think a missed opportunity um, probably because the other effects uh, like the uh, smoky effects that comes out from his uh, visor and whatnot has been uh, already addressed in the like a standalone pack but for this pack it only comes with these two uh, alternate heads well three if you consider the one that he actually has uh, uh, this one is okay these two I'm not too sure it's just uh, him sort of like a casual look with you know like a the sunglassed look as it were if he's going out and whatnot I don't know whether we actually needed two of this um, you know I would have much preferred if he had like one sort of outgoing look and one sort of visor with some effects like uh, either after shot effects with the smoke coming out or maybe the what you call the um, uh, shooting effect but um, it's not given so uh, I'm not sure, sure whether I'll use any of this to be fair uh, to be honest with you because this is, is uh, sort of a civilian look and uh, he's not really in a civilian costume now is he so he's in his sort of x-men costume with uh, going ready for battle so he's never gonna i don't know i don't know what they were thinking um well i know what they were thinking i, I think they just want us to buy a few more accessories uh, to complete this uh, figure anyway can't really complain um it is what it is let's take them out play around with them put different heads and whatnot see how they articulate and let's see how this all transpires right so let's look at number one sorry that was an umbrella academy reference forget about that so just this uh, you know let's look at cyclops because he is of course the leader uh in terms of uh, the x-men or or at least the um leader uh, on the field as such so he comes with a nice head scalp in terms of the visor and a nice uh, hairdo uh, and the nice leather jacket that comes with sometimes he, he dons that sometimes it's just sort of plain bare of course the blue and uh, yellow uh, combination with the straps all pretty good well uh, one thing i noticed is this uh, particular thing is uh, it's not really fixed as such it's kind of loose it's for you to play around with and uh, if you do too many dynamic poses these things tend to come out similarly for this as well uh, it's not really fixed so it tends to be loose so if you play around with it um, you know it can get irritating because uh, every time you have to adjust this and whatnot but other than that it's pretty good the buckle here also comes out so again too much band or crunch or whatever it tends to come out but overall uh, in terms of quality, I don't uh, quality control. I think it's pretty good. I don't see any paint flaws, any smudges, no nothing. So, um, 
maybe some imperfection in terms of the sort of the line they drew for the you know the 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 visor but okay that's that's really picking i don't know whether you can see this um it's you know it is what it is uh as an accessory he comes with this uh one thing i forgot to mention is this this hand you know the one that he puts closer to his eye when he's uh, ready to shoot off so that's pretty good instead of two fisted hands you can interchange that to one of these hands that allows him to concentrate which uh i really like the only thing i don't like is this two head scarf now i don't mind one of this but two sort of head scarf for his uh, sort of outgoing look of i would assume similar nature maybe the hairstyle is a bit different um obviously the um, sunglasses uh is uh, different uh but i don't know whether we needed you know his version of uh, an outgoing look uh you know i would have preferred maybe one of that and maybe one with an northern head with some effects going uh, you know like a smoky effect or maybe a shooting thing but i think that came with the individual pack so i maybe they felt that there's a need to do something different which is good if you own the previous uh, figure not so much if this is your first figure so there you go it is what it is let's look at some articulation obviously it's the same thing uh, all over again in every review so the ups the downs the lefts the rights that's pretty good decent stuff the stretchy stretchy that way forward stretchy that way now one thing uh, they've actually taken the liberty to keep the jacket as a like a separate so it's not going to hinder much in terms of the movement so that's pretty good you have joints that are hidden but just by virtue of just bending it you can see i think this is pretty much a single uh, joint um, on the elbows uh, for the hands you do all the bendy inward bendy outward all aroundy that's pretty good there is a cut to the diaphragm that allows quite a bit of crunch so fantastic and quite a bit of stretch backwards so this is as good as it can get there is a waist swivel a thigh swivel there is the see what i see what i, what I meant when i said that these things comes off every time you play around with the figure you have anyway you have the double jointed knee that allows quite a bit of bend which is pretty good and everything comes out oh boy back to your place back to your place then you have uh, yep a nice uh, swivel at the uh, shin area there the legs can go forward that much down that much and it can pivot that much um, legs go pretty decent to the front and decent at the back considering the limitations of his rear and so all in all a very good uh, buck for cyclops i'm happy and pretty pleased with that time to look at cyclops's other half and uh, again uh, for miss jean gray she comes with uh, nothing much really apart for this additional head sculpt which uh, between these two i like the hairstyle on this one because this is similar to how i saw her uh, or oh, i remember her in the animated series because she donned that sort of ponytail um the face sculpt is all right from a distance but as you come close i don't know it, it's okay but it's also not really what i imagine jean gray to look like so it just can't make out uh, what it is it's, it's something that just doesn't feel as right as i want it to be but in terms of uh, just the general uh, quality in terms of paint job in terms of this uh, hair sculpt uh, the paint job on that uh, you know it, it's it's uh, it's good it's it's uh, perfect uh, the head cup that she comes with on the other hand there's a couple of problems with that first and foremost you can see here the red smudge that probably be i probably i assume comes from her lipstick so somebody has done a job uh, just takes it all the way to her chin so that's a bit of a sloppy job uh, and then her eyes for some reason at certain angles it looks a bit wonky you know it's like in two separate positions i don't know maybe maybe it's just me um in you know when she looks down or she is all right at an angle but when you look close it just it looks a bit odd but 
okay and the hair is also a let loose hair and the, i love the hits the what you call the scalp of it uh, i love the color the gradation uh, of red it you know i, I don't think the the camera does any justice but in the actual appearance you, you do have some sort of uh, shiny bits and black bits here and there uh what else and then in terms of her costume uh, that's spot on isn't it you know she always donned that this sort of uh, look uh, as a kid uh, i wasn't really sure that this was actually her skin or was actually the costume and i've always thought uh, back in the day like how the hell did they let go of this costume in the uh, animated series of course eventually we knew that actually that is a costume so anyway i digress fantastic looking hits uh what we call that costume in terms of paint job and whatnot it just uh, captures the uh, figure perfectly uh, in terms of color and whatnot in terms of articulation uh, the female buck is generally tend to be somewhat uh, restrictive i think the only exception to the rule that i had uh, the pleasure of playing is with the black widow figure because she was quite uh, uh, flexible uh, in terms of uh, uh, her buck but here yeah in terms of uh, forward motion it goes all the way down so that's pretty good so i assume if she's ever levitating if you know if she wants to look down she can do quite a bit in terms of back now that's never gonna happen now is it with this long hair she's only gonna ever look forward and down with this head scarf of course she does enough left turn Ooh, that looks good and uh, right turn or whichever way i can't really make out which is my left and which is right uh then uh, the hand stretch as you uh, sorry the arm stretch as you can see here just about see the joints um in terms of hinges and whatnot for some reason the elbow is only a single cut so allows a bend to go only by that much and then uh, the inward motion is also somewhat restrictive because of this um whatever this is uh, uh that just restricts uh, going back uh, it's okay i suppose you, you can do i mean that's as much as you can get but other than that uh, it's okay there is a cut in the diaphragm that allows the swivel and the band which is not as good as uh, cyclops but i suppose it's doable and the backward stretch all the way that much so you can see that nice s there so that's pretty good the belt is a loose piece uh, which I'm not so sure why because can only go in one direction because any further higher than that Because her body is so slender. It's never gonna fit anywhere. It's only gonna go in this position So why just not? Stick this to her body. I don't know because there's also it's not doesn't impede anything because there's no cut to her waist So if ever you want to turn you have to turn her that way or that way, but not much any much lower than that there is a tie cut so that's pretty good a double jointed knee that allows quite a bit of bend so that's pretty good legs go up that way legs go down that way and is there a pivot yeah that's good enough for me in terms of kick she does go all the way and okay at the back that's as good as you can get uh, so pretty decent figure I think uh, probably the only reason you would probably want uh, any more uh, complex dynamic poses is if she's actually in a battle but half the time she's gonna take care of the business just by thinking about it so I suppose for that kind of figure it's okay in terms of its dynamic uh, abilities now, by far the sort of best offering in terms of the figures in this three pack is the Wolverine but I think Wolverine is the sort of a time and tested figure they've got it right in many variations of him whether it's the brown suit whether this this sort of tiger suit whether it's the x-force suit it pretty much uses the same buck and as such uh, I think they've got enough time and also he's, he's one of the lead characters of the Marvel Universe isn't he so they are gonna get him right um, so he comes with this sort of battle damage head which uh, is okay i don't know whether i will ever use this um, and then he comes with a bone claws which you can interchange with his actual or the claws that he's more known for which is this adamantium claws now for those of you who have ever owned a wolverine you know is that it takes a little bit of fiddling to just about get it into the right sort of spacing and all that um, which is well, can be tricky and can be sometimes uh, irritating but 
yeah there you go it is what it is so that's pretty good at least they have that option and then he also comes with the alternate head that is unmasked so sorry unmasked so that's uh, that's his head scarf which is um, sort of smirky wolverine uh, i don't know I suppose uh, it's similar to that uh, Cyclops and that is more casual look, uh, maybe a civilian look, I don't know, when he goes out. And then he has the cowl that I assume you just uh, put it uh, around his neck when you have this face um, so that he is more, um, let's say, donning that sort of pose uh, with his mask out and all that. Uh, works I suppose if you want to uh, in terms of articulation and the paint job and whatnot uh, Paint job as far as I can see is perfect. It's as perfect as it can get I love this interpretation of Wolverine in terms of that that tiger stripe yellow I think the bluish could have been a bit more shinier uh, in fact the mm, Some versions I've seen is a bit more shinier, but this blue is all right the the claw bone actually has nice little spacing uh, it can be uh, manipulated but I think it seems to have a better spacing and then the the metal one but okay it is what it is now let's look at the articulation of course he he is someone that can go look uh, can look up because uh, he's a short fella and he can look down as much because uh, you want him to do that um when he's kind of leaping and whatnot yeah i can go left right and all the way around he does something uh that is different from any other figure is that uh, he has butterfly joints that allows his hands to come much closer to his chest to have that you know that exposed with his claws and whatnot so that's pretty good or extend it backwards so when he's sort of you know leaping uh from a distance um you know that look that works pretty well so that is something different than let's say the cycle of buck and whatnot he can stretch his arm by that much forward that sorry that much outward this much forward he has that sort of double jointed uh, elbow that does allow the bend however the biceps does get in the way and you can see just about some uh, design elements to his biceps to show or indicate at least that he's a hairy guy but I, they have not really painted that, so it's just sculpt, sculpted that way, but it's not really painted, so that's an uh, interesting little piece. His hands can go inward that much, outward that much, so it's typical um, fair. Diaphragm cut that allows quite a bit of crunch, uh, crunch. Uh, so that's pretty good for a man of his nature. And the back... Um, I would have thought he would go much further, but I suppose this is okay for him. He has a wave swivel and a separate belt. So this makes sense because his waist is uh, swivelable, shall we say. Uh, as opposed to Jingri, I don't, Jingri, I'm not sure, sure why uh, her belt would be separate, but anyway. And then you have the thigh swivel, you have the double jointed knee that allows a decent pen. You have his legs going up that much, down that much. Can he pivot? Yep, fantastic. Leg kick, pretty good. And backwards, that much. So, all in all, pretty impressive figure. Uh, but nothing particularly surprising about this bug as such because it has it is like I said a time and tested bug so you're not gonna go wrong with this now before we get my final thoughts I will do the honor by putting all the accessories and giving you a different interpretation or different looks of these figures based on the accessories they come with right about now now once I've had the chance to play around with this, would I recommend this as a final thought? Um, depends really. I think all in all it's a good effort. It's a good uh, pack to have for those of you who are new collectors to the X-Men. Because let's face it, these three figures are pivotal characters in the X-Men universe. And uh, you want to get uh, them uh, eventually. So whether they come as a three pack or individually, you are likely to get them. Having said that, I think the price is going to be a stumbling block for some people uh, in terms of uh, in terms 
I think it's quite expensive in the sense that if you're paying seventy dollars, it's not for everyone, uh, and uh, so that could be a hindrance for some. But if you consider all the time and effort that it takes to actually uh, collect these and then go uh, uh, in the hunt for these if they exist individually uh, well I suppose the 70 bucks you can close one eye so that's my thought I think generally what why you would probably want to get this I think in terms of the Cyclops it's a very good attempt and this is uh, as good as the Cyclops that you can get I think the Wolverine you can never go around now could you because he is a pivotal character not only in the X-Men universe but also in the Marvel universe as well so they're always going to get him right he is the right buck um, so everything checks out the only variation you're going to probably going to get is if he comes in a different costume and whatnot depending on which X-Men you you is your preferred choice the jean gray i think there could be a better version out there i don't know for now this works uh i think in terms of body sculpt and all that uh whatever she comes with is all good the head sculpt it's um it's decent it's not great neither is it bad so take what you will from that so i'll give it a thumbs up and i will conclude my video as such so all in all Thank you for listening guys and as always if you like what you saw from this video in terms of my review please feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. I also uh, appear uh, on Instagram at uh, the handle figureheads with an S underscore unite where you can check out some of my um, poses and, and more or at least more than what I present uh, in YouTube as well as my other collections because obviously I have a bucket loads of other stuff that i don't really do reviews because i don't think it's youtube worthy but i am a toy collector i hunt for things and i do buy stuff and whatnot so it's just a way of uh, me reaching out to people to have sh who have uh, let's say similar interests and whatnot um and see whether you know we can form a, a decent community uh obviously uh me coming all the way from uh, uh the other part of the world for much of the viewers for this channel i suppose uh so uh, whichever way we all are one soul we all have the same interest so let's get together and uh, let's uh like i said uh, keep each other company and um and uh form a brotherhood of uh action figures Anyway, till then, I bid you farewell. Uh, until my next video, adios. Here we go, making really on, getting ICs on, flexing, mmm, I've been sorbing, making trendy.